Welcome to yet another building tutorial by Dome Gaming. In this video I will show you how to build a church. Let's build the foundations first. These will show us the size of the building and what shape it will take. As you can see I sped up the video quite a bit because it would be really really boring to see me place a lot of foundations. As you can see I add some foundations to the sides. These will serve a purpose later in the video. After all the foundations have been placed, it's time to place some fence foundations. By placing fence foundations on the edges of the foundations, we can later place pillars on the corners and on the edges of the foundations too. Otherwise they would be in the middle of the foundation, which looks weird. The two lines of fence foundations that are at in the middle of the building will be used later in this video to add pillars and other parts of the detail work. The pillars that we'll add only have a cosmetic purpose and don't serve any other purpose. They look good and that's all there is to it. But you need to add them before you add the walls, otherwise you won't be able to add these pillars anymore. Now it's time to add the pillars on the inside of the building. Just like the ones on the outside, these will be 4 pillars high. After all the pillars have been placed, we can start building the walls. But before we place any walls, we will add an entrance, so we can get inside of the building later. Now it's time for the fun part. Let's add some walls to the building. Make sure all the walls are aligned the same way, otherwise you will have problems adding the ceiling later. If the walls aren't aligned correctly, the ceiling will have different heights and this will make it impossible to add a nice looking floor. The reason that I chose wood walls with stone pillars is because it gives a nice little contrast and makes the building look a lot more interesting. Otherwise it will, would look like one flat, stony or wooden area and that would be kind of boring. As you can see a small area of the building um, is aligned differently from the rest of the building. This is because this will be the tower of the church and I wanted it to be visible from the inside. When it's done it will be completely clear why I did this. It's starting to look a lot more like a building now. Before I can add any more details, I will have to add some fence foundations. Why? Well, I want to add some, add some stone dinosaur gateways to make small little archways, but uh, these can't be aligned correctly without the use of these fence foundations. But it's possible, but it's a lot more difficult, so I chose to add these fence foundations because they look awesome and they make my job a lot easier. And as you can see it really works well, so all the archways have been placed and the next part of the video I can start building on top of this area. Um, if you're following this tutorial by the way, um, make sure to watch it really until the end of the video because otherwise you'll make the same mistake that I just did. Um, I've, I started to fill in both of the um, inner rows with stone um, ceilings. This is actually a mistake. Um, I will remove them in a bit, but just ignore that small part of the video. Um, the pillars and all the other parts are correctly, so only the middle two rows of the stone uh, ceilings should be removed or shouldn't be added by someone following this tutorial. As you can see, both sides of the building now have a ladder to get on top and we can start adding a lot more building parts on the top of these ceilings. Um, the first thing that I will do now is add a lot of window frames. These window frames will make it look a lot more like private quarters for the people working at the church and they also increase the amount of detail that you can see from the outside and make the building look a lot more interesting. 
Before we can add a roof, we'll have to make sure that the roof will be supported on the inside. Um, this is not really necessary, but it makes the building look a lot more sturdy um, and it's a lot more realistic. So um, I'll add some pillars on the inside and some walls and in the next part of the video you will see me add a roof to the building. Now it's finally time to add a roof. Um, to do this I will have to add a small wall and some sloped walls too. Um, afterwards I can add a stone ceiling. Uh, once again I chose to combine stone and wood to make the building look a lot more interesting. Um, you can also use wooden, uh, wooden roofs if you like this more. Um, but I prefer the mixture so I chose stone ceilings and stone sloped ceilings to uh, do the job. All done, um, let's take a quick look outside and see if the roof looks good the way it is. Now it's time to add the middle part of the ceiling. Um, I chose to do this with flat ceilings because otherwise the building would look a lot higher than it should be. Um, and I've got a way to make it look a lot more detailed, um, which I will show you in just a few minutes. But before I do this, I will add a lot of uh, stone pillars to the tower to make it higher. Um, and I will fill in the gaps with wooden walls later. Um, the details that I will add to the roof are actually just stone railings. <laughs> uh, these stone railings uh, give it a lot of character. It makes it look like the building has been worked on by someone who wants to have details in their work. Um, so it looks a lot more interesting, in my opinion, to add these. Um, they don't serve any purpose, just like the pillars and just like some of the other parts of the building. But they are a cosmetic detail and, in my opinion, it's really worth your time to add these to the building. To get on top of the building without using any flying dinosaurs and Without needing to use any cheats, I add some ladders and some head frames. Um, these won't be visible from the outside, but um, I really like the idea that I can really use the building the way it's meant to be used. Now if someone would make a mod with church bells, you can uh, always uh, send a message. <laughs> Otherwise it will be an empty tower for the most part. Now it's finally time to add some of the details. Um, I start by using two stairs. These stairs are from the Akushima mod. This is one of the most well-known mods on uh, the uh, Steam Workshop. A lot of people have already downloaded it. Otherwise I would recommend downloading it. On the inside of the building I will use a lot of parts added by the Pop mod. It's a really nice mod that I also use for the Tavern video. So I would recommend downloading that as well. In my opinion, the uh, addition of different objects from the game and from the vanilla game will really give the building a lot of character and makes it look like it's really in use. Just like the benches where people can sit, I will also add some offerings that they made to the Dragon God, because this is a church for the Dragon God. Um, as you can see, um, it really fills up the building, it makes it look like you can really sit there and use it. Um, pray to the dragon god, do whatever you want, just don't burn the place down, because that's the dragon's job. Let's add some wall torches as a light source, 
Um, these look quite simple, but they really add to the feel of it being a church for a dragon god because of the fire and the burning. A small trick that I learned um, was building in the normal game was that um, these trophy stands and um, the artifacts make a great light source and you can really influence the mood of the area by using a different artifact. I chose a red one for this build. You can always use a purple one, green one, all kinds of colors. Um, you will need to gather these in the caves. That's a nice little challenge for you. But um, they make the building look a lot more stylish and they add a lot to the mood of the building overall. As you can see in the meanwhile I'm adding a lot of candles to light up just like the offerings made in for example a Catholic church where you light a candle. Um, here you can see a lot of pictures, food and fire for the dragon god to appease him and make sure that he won't attack your village. Last but not least let's add some chairs for the people who work at the church to sit at and then we can take a look at the finished end result all together. Something you would really help me out with is leaving a like or dislike on this video. Um, leave a like if you like the video, leave a dislike if you think I need to improve a lot. But if you do, th do so, please leave a comment explaining why you did, so maybe I can do something about it in the next video. Um, if you want to build buildings like these, um, if you enjoy playing ARC, you can always join our server. Uh, links in the description and there's also a link to our own site. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.